So hi guys, welcome to Crazy Burger. So in this video we're going to be looking at the Hyper Megatech firmware update. Finally we have a firmware update for your Super Pockets that we can probably, probably now play Cathedral and the fix for uh, Donut Dodo will hopefully be there and we can then play that properly on our Super Pockets. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, to get started you need to go to hypermegatech.com I'll leave the link in the description um, and then go to the support section at the top um, Now the f a couple of things you need to do first um, you obviously need to download the actual Super Pocket Updater This is only for Windows at present um, There will be a Mac version probably in the next couple of weeks um, But at the moment it's just for Windows So you need to download that first um, and it will download the updater file. Now, if you've done this for the Evercade original handheld, you'll probably know what to do here. Um, basically, you need to uh, connect your Super Pocket with the original charge cable to your PC or laptop uh, and then follow the instructions. But I'll try and go through the instructions as best as I can in this video. Okay, once your um, file has downloaded, it usually goes to your download uh, folder, um, but I probably recommend moving it to another folder elsewhere, wherever you want to actually store it, and unzip the file that's there. So the zip file, just right click it and extract all, and it should um, completely extract the file, probably to a separate folder, depends how you set it up really, but just extract it from the zip file, and um, it might take a few moments. It may take a, maybe a minute or so um, to do that. So you can now delete the, the zip file um, once you've un or extracted the actual .exe file. Now this is the .exe file here. You double click that to kick start it. But first, before we do that, we'll go back and we'll look at the actual Super Pocket instructions um, before you get started. Now, there's this recommended required install the following update from Microsoft here before running the updater. A lot of users will already have this installed, however, you might not, especially if it's a new copy of Windows. Um, not entirely sure what's happened here. I clicked on this before and I got a, I think I got an issue, but this seems to be working today. So maybe it's, it seems fine. So um, probably a good idea to maybe do this unless it's already on your PC. So I would just go ahead and actually do it. So what, what would it say here? The Download the X4 section. So well, let's do that. 3.1 download x4 so you've obviously got the option for windows linux mac os obviously in this occasion we are doing the um windows version and that's that download so open that file just directly open it from your download section install say yes should be pretty straightforward so I think I tried this last night and it wasn't working. This section was giving me errors and I was having issues with the actual install file as well. So I've kind of parked it and tried again today. Fingers crossed it works this time. And that was it. Installation complete. So that's done. You can then go back to the actual process. Uh, just go back a couple of stages um, to the actual process. So we've already done this bit. Downloaded the installer, unzipped it. Um, and then now all we need to do now is double click the actual .exe file. Um, and we'll go through that right now. There's also a driver that you might need to install. We'll go through that. Um, and obviously, as I said, get your Super Pocket handy. Get the original charge cable um, that came with it and use that to connect to your PC. And you need to hold the volume up and turn it on at the same time. And hopefully that will kickstart the updater. So let's go through that now. Okay, so I've got my Super Pocket. The Capcom Edition is connected with the charge cable to the PC. That's a pretty simple uh, option. So then you just have to hold down the up button and turn on the unit at the same time and hopefully we will see some um, some results here. But uh, let's go through that now. Okay, so let's double click the exe file and let's get the installer um, loaded. It shouldn't take too long to look up. So you get this um, option here, just click more info, run anyway. Um, this happens quite often in some installs like this. No, we should trust Blaze, it should be fine. So you'll get this uh, pop-up, you'll get the option to choose between Capcom Edition and Taito Edition. Not entirely what should, what would happen if you actually chose 
the Capcom edition if you had the title handheld. Don't really know. Maybe it would brick it. Maybe you'll end up with the title games on Capcom. I have no idea. But I would recommend sticking to the right one. Um, I'm sure someone out there might try, do the wrong one, see what happens. But um, I don't particularly fancy doing that. I don't want to brick the unit um, and don't fancy buying a new one. So I'll pick Capcom. I'm going to choose Capcom for this video. So another issue I had with this last night was my PC was putting this into quarantine, it didn't like it much and it kept installing uh, or putting it into quarantine and I couldn't actually run it. But um, if you've got um, doing this for the first time you may have to reinstall drivers, so just click that, driver is already installed, if not um, it would just install it and then restart the update. So what you need to do now is get your Super Pocket and connect it to the PC. So I'll go through that process now. Okay, still trying this, so you need to turn the device on whilst holding up. Oh, we're doing something now. Checking boot files. Keep holding that button. Oh, and we're progressing now. So this is a, probably the second or third go at doing this. Um, if you see the Blaze Entertainment logo pop up on your Super Pocket, that means it's not working. So turn it off again whilst holding the up button and then try again. Turn it on and see what happens. So success, unplug your pocket and enjoy your shiny new firmware. Fingers crossed it's going to work this time. So it's certainly not ideal. Um, and my PC keeps thinking that this file is a threat and it's quarantining um, this uh, installer all the time. Not sure what's going on there. It's happening every single time I'm doing it. I have to bring it out of quarantine from McAfee and put it back into the folder it was in. But it seems to have updated. So let's have a look. Probably the, the tell and tale will be if Cathedral is actually working. Okay guys, so everything seems okay so far. I'm going to try um, the, the issues now. I'm only aware of a couple of things. I know Cathedral is one of the issues that obviously didn't work back when the Super Pockets were released. And Donut Dodo um, obviously wasn't button mapping correctly to the Super Pockets. Um, there are a few other things, but I'm not entirely sure. There may be some um, language uh, updates, things like that. But there's no patch notes, so I'm not entirely sure what all the details are that have been updated on these Super Pockets. Um, but if you're aware of any change um, that you of a, for a game that you're actually playing, please drop it into the comments so that we know um, but I'm personally only aware of a few things that were updated um, so unfortunately I can't actually test Donut Dodo at present because my Indie Heroes 3 cartridge is not recognised on any uh, of these devices which is a bit, bit of a shame I've tried um, but it doesn't work it's completely and utterly broken um, but good news I have got a new cartridge coming from Blaze they have quickly responded and I will receive a new cartridge hopefully tomorrow and when I do I'll do a quick update of the cartridge and I'll show you um, hopefully Donut Dodo working fine on the Super Pockets but right now I think what we'll do is we'll have a look at Cathedral hopefully running finally on these Super Pockets because it's an absolutely fantastic game um, and it's obviously been a shame that it wasn't working originally um, and obviously now that it is working, I would highly recommend this cart um, for your Super Pockets. But let's have a quick look at it because it's obviously meant for a widescreen um, rather than a small screen. But let's see if it works okay. And yet yeah, it does utilise the shoulder buttons. So be wary of that as well. But let's have a look at it running. Maybe quickly jump into my old save and see how it goes. Tricky game. Very, very hard. Personally, I prefer Always Awakening, but it's still a fantastic little game. Um, and you can see it's working fine, looks fantastic. Maybe it's just a little bit squashed. Um, but other than that, it's working on your pockets. Happy days. Okay, guys, so that's that. Cathedral is working absolutely fine. Hopefully, Indie Heroes 3 and Donut Dodo is working fine as well. I've seen some comments in other videos of people saying it is actually playing fine now on your Super Pocket. So, happy days. Hopefully it doesn't break anything further. Um, recent firmware updates haven't actually been great, but fingers crossed everything is A-OK. -okay. Um, and it's great news that we've got Cathedral finally working on the Super Pockets. This game is tough as nails. So be prepared for a huge challenge if you get this game. It's a great cart, there's no doubt about it. Absolutely fantastic cart. Uh, and certainly one of the best value, even though there's only two games, there's a lot of gameplay to be had from uh, these two games. It will take you hours and hours. I've seen some reports that it could take you 100 hours maybe to complete this fully. Fantastic stuff. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Catch you again in the next one. Bye for now.